sharing of information among the security researchers will help taking down the malware websites. Ganesh, it looks like the guys at abuse.ch have a new project out and it looks pretty promising. What can you tell us? Sometime last March 2018, they started a project called URL Hash. They want to identify uh, malware URLs, actually a website which are uh, uh, serving the malware, identify them and coordinate to basically take down them. In the next 10 months, they're able to take down 100,000 malware websites. Great. From the contributions from about 265 security researchers uh, worldwide. That's really good. I've heard of similar efforts relating to spam and phishing, where people share phishing URLs. But in this case, it seems to be specifically for malware download URLs. And even though there's a positive spin on it, there seems to be some numbers which we need to talk about, which will give some light about it, what's going on here. One of the interesting facts is uh, the average takedown time is about eight days, a little over eight a week. Eight days, wow. Eight days, 10 hours, and 24 minutes to be exact. But still, that's a significantly lower number, but that's enough time to infect lots of uh, thousands of And I, I would as your guess to say that most of those malware download locations don't even last for eight days. I mean, yeah. The way that we've seen you know, cyber criminals cycle through the URLs that they use, they go away so quickly, yeah, because yep, as yep. soon as researchers figure out where they are and start mm -hmm. blocking them, they're no longer valuable. Yeah, yeah. the other side of the spectrum is uh, they found out uh, the average time to take down in some parts of Asia Pack, which is basically in China, they took more than a month. Wow. So, so that's a wide spectrum of uh, reports actually they are giving. The goal for them is to bring that number to the lower the number, the better. This has been noticed by the various ISPs worldwide. They're able to actually take down the websites, and in that sense, actually, it helped in the bigger picture. I think there's an incentive to try to keep whatever IP address ranges you're responsible for as clean as possible. You don't want to be spreading malware from anywhere in, in a range that you're responsible for. Mm -hmm. Sure. The services you're offering, there's an acceptable use of those services, which usually spells right out, you're not going to use the service to host uh, malicious sites, to distribute malware, carry out denial of service attacks. Like yeah, that. That, that does kind of make a good point, is that everyone who's participating, their own networks will get cleaner. Now, it seems like it's a voluntary participation, naturally. There are still going to be bulletproof hosts and other people out there who have no interest in cleaning up their own networks because they make money from doing that. It does at least help show where the people who are willing to try and fix the problem reside, and then maybe there's a way you can put more pressure on the folks who are resisting that. The crux of this story is, I think, sharing is caring. Even though it's an incredible effort, but there's still something needs to be done. I believe you know, the eight days time frame is too much to you know, basically take down a battle website. Security researchers all providing their talent and their insights. It all gets pooled together to be much more effective than it would have been if just one lab or just a couple people were doing it. Unite everybody to get things, to get problems resolved and addressed and to make things uh, safer.